everybody. I'm going to make a short video today while the uh, daughter is napping. So she may wake up any moment. We'll see how far into this I get. I'm just pretty much intending to make a short little tutorial into how the Moby Glass works and the different features and how to pick up quests that are currently inside of 3.0. So you access the Moby Glass by pressing F1. And in here on the very first screen, you can see your current balance, if you've got a crime stat, your heart rate, current pressure. I'm floating above Port Olisar right now, so there's no atmosphere. And you can see I have about an hour remaining. So better not talk for longer than an hour. It shows your suit oxygen, tank oxygen, EVA fuel, etc. And feed later on, when you get a vehicle, it'll show your vehicle status over here. And track mission status. So let's look at the missions first off. You got a couple general categories up top. You got general, personal, accepted, and history. Now currently there's no persistence between gaming sessions and servers, so if you do 20 missions and gain some reputation and start talking to other quest givers and then log out, your history gets wiped. Again, that's currently in 3.0. Hopefully by 3.1 we'll see more persistence for reputation and missions. So again, First tab, General. You got some simple ones. You can click in here and you got Lost in Space. It tells you it's worth 105. Um, what they want. You know, so and so company wants you to do this. You can accept it. And then it'll show under Accepted. And you can track it, saying Go to the wreckage for retrieval. So I can open up my star map. And now should have a waypoint showing up. Sometimes, like for this mission, I don't see... Let me zoom all the way out. Ah, here it is. It's all the way out here. Quantum Beacon. So I can select it and set as destination. Can't do that right now. I'm not in a ship. I'm just floating. But if I was in a ship, I could set as de destination and go right to it. So let's go back to the main Moby Glass. Back to missions, and accepted, and abandon. So, now that mission is gone under general. Some of the other ones have disappeared as well, but I can pick search and destroy. I can go and do some combat and blow up some Nine Tails pirates. I can go to Terra Mills Hydro Farm. They have some trash. I can pick up some bio waste. Um, if I were to go there and pick it up, the only place that will buy bio waste back from you is Levski. Um, so you can go there, do this mission, and get the 74 AUC for cleaning up their trash, and then go sell the trash at Levski for an additional small profit. Um, currently, missions do not reward that much AUEC. You can make much more by cargo. You can get some personal missions, so procurement. Got wind that a package that the Nova Riders have been after turned up on a caterpillar that was headed out of system. Luckily, they didn't get too far. All that's left is for someone to grab the goods from the caterpillar's last known position and drop it off at a stash house on Yella. So, you don't know who this mission's from. No availability. It's worth 105 AUC. So you can pick it up and take a look. Another one, here's the deal. Lowriders need a specific gold shipment from a stash house on Damar. Once you acquire, drop it off somewhere private. So you kind of get the hint that these two missions, since you don't know who's requesting it, may be a little shady. You might end up in a crime stat for it. And you can see the availability, it's a limited time. This one's for a minute and 23. This one's unspecified. This one, PI Wanted. The immediate need for an experienced and discreet investigator. Anyone who played in 2.63 knows this one. You go, go to Kovalex Mining Hub, dig around the station, pull up some information, and you get some money. Wasted. I don't know what happened, I don't really care, but someone made a pretty big mess and it needs to be cleaned up. We're looking for someone discreet to make a bunch of trash and vanish off-world. Not a lot of time, etc. So, again, you don't know who does it. So that kind of covers the mission part of it. Constellation booting up. Next thing you can do here is you can repair, restock, hydrogen or fuel, quantum, but again you can only do this at a cry astro station. But this is the screen you would use for that. Let me get 
to a less angle here. Sometimes the Moby Glass opens up at a funny angle if your head is twisted. So we'll go back to straight. So again over here, journal entries. As you go through, you pick up little journal entries, little information. So this is some kind of think of it as like help tips. You know, welcome to contract manager, the Moby Glass, here's the different things you can do. Kind of talking about basically what I'm talking about now. You know, bounty hunter, contracts to pursue and track down specific targets, appointments, you know, meet somewhere at a certain time. ECN contracts received through emergency communications network. So emergency beacons. You'll see those pop up up here on the top of your screen. I'll say ECN assistance. And then you can pop in, pick it, and go save someone. Next thing we covered was already the star map character. So here you can adjust what your character has equipped. So you get different slots. You can hover over each slot and change what they got. So you got your armor, you got your helmet, core, arms, legs. You can adjust your weapons, anything you own. One thing to keep in mind if you're using a ballistic weapon, such as my SMG here. Make sure you got ammunition. Same thing with this. It comes with a battery. The weapon does nothing without ammo. Consumables. I highly recommend medical pens and OT pens. They can be very handy. You can also adjust your undersuit. So this is where you would go to adjust your clothing if you had outfits. You can adjust ship loadouts on the next screen. So I could go to my Vanguard Warden. I could adjust propulsion. I could change a quantum drive. I could change a cooler, power plant, shield generator, weapons. So right now I could switch this out and I could put a laser can instead of a ballistic. And this is your contacts. Right now the only person I can hail in the area is Port Olisar. Really, the only people you can hail right now are landing systems. Later on, you'll be able to hail other players. You'll be able to make your own contracts, and then you'll be able to put them out, and then people will hail you individually, and you can accept or decline, etc. So that'll be pretty neat when that happens. So, someone had mentioned that they thought it was funny I was talking about, make sure you have a helmet on, or you'll die. Let's show you what happens, just for funsies. Unequip. Save changes. Suit oxygen zero. Heart rate 61. Person's making gasping noises. Everything's going dark. And maybe I should have left my helmet on. So anyway, that's a real quick summary of Moby Glass. If you guys have any questions, let me know.